Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. One of the most common comments we get uh, from the keyboard warriors out there is that there's no such thing as an HC round. The U.S. Navy used high explosives, and that's patently false. If your introduction to naval history is through the various video games that are out there, we love you. Come to us from wherever you do. However, know that video games really streamline things down and different navies had different terminology for different types of munitions, and these are not reflected in the games. Most games, you only have one ammunition type, or maybe two. Uh, and it seems like, I I'm thinking this is where these comments are coming from, that in most video games, you have an armor-piercing ammunition type and a high-explosive ammunition type. In the United States, if you're firing a smaller projectile or are in the Army firing the projectiles that explode on impact, those would be called high explosives. And that seems to be more or less adjusted for language what other nations call those, abbreviated to HE, high explosive. Uh, in the U.S. Navy, for battleship caliber guns, other large caliber guns, they are called HC rounds, high capacity. So that's what they're called on all the original documents, all the manuals, all the reference books. Uh, and I understand why in video games, they're not going to have different terminology for every single Navy that, that you're operating. There's just going to be one phrase. However, this round here with the green body is a high capacity round, not a high explosive round. Another possible difference, the reason why large caliber ones are high capacity instead of high explosive, is because there's two different ways you can set these up to detonate. A traditional high explosive round has a nose detonator. As soon as that nose detonator hits, it explodes on contact. But for a large caliber round like this, it can be set up to detonate either from the nose or from the base. So again, if we're doing shore bombardment, we'd have the nose detonator on, it explodes on impact. If we're firing at something uh, maybe lighter armored, but uh, still too light for an armor piercing round, we could set the base detonator, which means that the projectile will punch through the entire length before the fuse is armed, uh, which essentially turns a high capacity round into a sap round, semi-armor piercing, which is another type that, that you see some nations get on, on some video games. So the US Navy doesn't have a separate SAP round for battleship guns. It's just a matter of, do you put the fuse in the top and make it and make a high capacity round high explosive, or do you put the fuse in the bottom and make a high capacity round semi-armor piercing? And of course, we've got the armor piercing rounds themselves, which have a base fuse because the nose is designed to impact the armor and uh, crush, deform as it is defeating that armor and punching through. And so the base is where the timer is starting. So, in conclusion, American battleships have two projectile types, armor piercing, which have a time delay fuse, and high capacity. They do not have high explosive rounds. So what's some other terminology that confuses you or confuses people you know? Let us know in the comment section down below and maybe we'll make a video about it in the future. I know the term caliber trips people up all the time. We've already done a video about that. Check the link in the description for more information. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support the museum and our channel. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum. Thanks for watching.